Welcome back, BFL fam. I'm Carlos, and thanks for tuning in to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be reviewing a fragrance from Casual Massey called Rose. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Before we get started with this review, I just want to let you know that this bottle was sent to me by Caswell Mazzi back in March for my birthday, actually. But as always, all opinions are my own. Caswell Massey, an American company founded in 1752, has a long history with rose fragrances dating back to the early 19th century. Their white rose was a perfume worn by First Lady Dolly Madison. Rose has been an important ingredient in many of their fragrances over the years. Rose is part of the new Caswell Massey New York Botanical Garden floral collection. They collaborated with master gardeners at the New York Botanical Garden located in the Bronx. The collection consists of Beatrix, Gardenia, Honeysuckle, Lilac, and Rose. They were all composed by IFF perfumer Laurent Legranic. The collection was created using headspace capture technology of rare flowers that can only be found at the New York Botanical Garden. Their goal was for the collection to be more green, more dewy, and more natural in character than most designer florals or even some of their own floral releases in the past and deliver to wearers the experience of a living flower. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. Here is the box that it comes in. It is blue, rose on the front. The base is gold. Here is the bottle. says Caswell Massey, chemists and perfumers. This is a 90 ml bottle which will run you 125 bucks. The notes for rose are citrus, rose, dark spice, amber, and anise. The rose used in this is derived from a dark scepted rose, which is a rose that has three flowers on each stem. This rare flower can be found blooming in the summer in the southeast promenade of the Peggy Rockefeller Rose Garden at the New York Botanical Garden. So let's spray some rose on skin. I forgot, this is an Eau de Parfum and is concentrated at 18%. So what I get from this is a spicy rose fragrance, not over the top, not too heady, a little on the dark side, but very masculine, very elegant and very smooth. This is not your typical Amouage rose or surge off rose. This is much more laid back and very gentlemanly. It's a great blend in my opinion and a perfect, perfect choice for a man that would like to wear a rose fragrance that's not so in your face. It's got a nice veil of amber smoothness. It smells really good. This is really smooth and elegant and I think would make a great choice for a formal occasion. This doesn't scream at all. It's very kind of a nice subtle cloud around you. It lasts for about four to five hours, but while it's on your skin, it's very enjoyable. If you like Le Labo Rose 31, you might dig this. It's not a feminine rose in any way. It's very masculine. I must stress that it's very masculine and a little dark, but not too dark and unwearable. This is really nicely done in my opinion. Well folks, that's all I have for you today on Caswell Massey Rose, short and sweet like I always do. Thanks to the generosity of Caswell Massey, we are offering a presentation just like this for one lucky subscriber. This giveaway is US only. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this review today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you have been a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, buddies, beautiful ladies, and all the fragrant fun always happening here at BFL. Thanks so much for watching today. Take care of yourselves, stay blessed, and I will see you at the next review.